One West Alabama community has been rocked by the death of a beloved podcast star, Tyler Goodson, killed in a standoff with police. Yeah, so the S-Town podcast became a sensation back in 2017. It focused on people and stories from the small community. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough joining us live in Woodstock tonight, where Tyler Goodson was known and loved by so many. Chip. Well, Ian and Brittany, there are less than 2,000 people here in the town of Woodstock, so everyone knows everyone, and everyone is certainly left feeling shaken by what happened over the weekend, including the town's mayor. It's the worst day in office I've ever had. To. Woodstock Mayor Jeff Dodson says he's never had to deal with anything like this during his eight years as mayor. He says an already difficult situation is complicated even further by the fact he's known the family of S-Town podcast star Tyler Goodson for over 30 years now. It is. It's, it's a devastating situation. We're still in, all of us, still in shock about it. Um, Tyler was a, uh, a talented young man. I mean, he, he had many talents, um, but depression is real. The Alabama law enforcement agency says the Woodstock Police Department was called to Goodson's residence early Sunday morning. What started as a routine call turned into an hours long standoff with police with several agencies responding. At one point during the standoff, Goodson posted on social media, quote, police about to shoot me down in my own yard. Authorities say Goodson later waved a gun at officers who then shot and killed him. He wasn't just a character in a podcast. I mean, he was a son, father, uh, brother. You know, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be tough on a family. I spoke to Goodson's brother off camera on Monday afternoon. He told me the family is just too upset to speak right now. The mayor is asking everyone to keep the Goodson family and their thoughts and prayers. I, I just want everybody to be compassionate and respectful for his, his family and, and his children. And the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency has launched a full-scale investigation into what happened over the weekend. Once that investigation is complete, the findings will be handed over to the Bibb County District Attorney's Office. Live in Woodstock in Bibb County tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.